happening. Great call by Ted Lattler as the Aztecs find themselves 4-0 on the season, ranked nationally number 19 in the country. Now, for the first time since 1981, they're off to a 4-0 start. For the first time since 1978, they win a game as a nationally ranked team as they were number 22. Woo. And this team. When's Rocky coming on? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, 8-10. We get to talk to The Rock. Unless something happens. I don't think anything's going to happen. The Rock is dialed. And this is two wild games for them in a row. Two delays with the lights and then the lightning. Delays be damned. I tell you what, it was really fun. I was listening. Went to the Padres game Saturday. So I was listening to Teddy give the call for the Aztecs game. And it was really fun hearing him describe all the red lights leaving as oh, the yeah. rain delays happening because he's sitting up in the box and he said, as far as the eye can see, <laughs> just miles of red tail lights heading out to the highway. And I just thought that just to me, it, it harken, harkens back to a time of almost Jack Kerouac on the road that takes place in Denver. And I was just thinking, wow, what a beautiful scene that Ted said. Well, it was not, it, it may, it, I think it was probably much prettier on radio if he said a pretty scene than it was on television. Because all it was was miles and miles of empty bleacher seats <laughs> in a wild downpour. Empty of them. This set up perfectly for an Aztec loss. Like, it's set up as perfect as it could get. Okay, you beat Stanford. Your fan base rushes the field. The ultimate high. You find yourself nationally ranked. Then you go on the road to Air Force to face the triple option on what is a monsoon and then come out after an 89 minute delay where you bang the halftime. I didn't even know that was a thing. Did Coaches they, agreed. They said, yeah. screw halftime. Can we all just get along? Yeah. Yeah. Just, Hey, do you want, we, does this make sense to you? We've been sitting in here for 90 minutes. Do you want to play six minutes and then go back in for another 15? No, thanks. Right. Let's just, let's ride this thing out. Coach. My, my best of the weekend. Absolutely. Not only the Aztecs, I, I think, and we need to ask Rocky more about this. We'll do it in the coaching show coming up Wednesday night. I think this coaching staff deserves a lot more credit than they're getting. It seems like every button they push, every decision they make, they're in a zone. Like this coaching staff, and I really do believe this team, they really love playing together. I think you can see it. They're well coached. They're well disciplined. They're not perfect, but they play incredibly, incredibly hard. That's what Rocky said. The young freshmen, the guys on this team, they're overcoming some things just simply with how hard they are playing. Just the effort. Effort is prevailing, effort Nick. Effort makes up for everything. Effort and aggression in combat sports gets you a very long way, and Rocky Long gives that mindset to the football team of just being a tough guy. He's an old-school, tough ball coach, and he imparts that old-school wisdom onto these young players, and he gives them a piece of that. And they have the wherewithal to withstand an early barrage from Air Force down 9 nothing. Yep. And do you think the delay really helped them out? Did it help, help them readjust the mindset? Well, the weather was not helping. I, I, the weather helps the team that wants to kind of run the muckier offense. It's the, it's the great equalizer in sports. Yes. The weather, when you get the big rain coming down, it's just the great equalizer. It slows everybody right. down, puts you on a level playing field. When in reality, San Diego State's a far superior team to Air Force but you increase those elements. There was in there. zero air attack allowed by the Aztecs in the, in, in the start of the game until the stoppage, because the, there was so much wind. Yeah. There was so much wind and rain. I mean, they came out through a pass. The Aztecs did Christian Chapman completed a pass and it was by far and away five times more yardage than they gathered in one play in the free in, in, in the previous quarter and a half It set up the play action pass by just somewhat letting the rain dissipate. Sure. And then they were able to have the Get play the action going. and it opened it up for Sean it up. Penny. It takes yeah. the defender out of the box and then you can start running the football like you want to run the football. But Air Force didn't quit either. And, and, and the oh, Aztecs those kids aren't quitting if they're down 52 to nothing. No, they, not even they close. Don't, they don't care. That's not in their DNA to quit. And I found myself, I wasn't rooting for them, but I was like, this is our Air Force. It's hard not to cheer for them, isn't it? I know all the service academies to me, Army, Navy, Air Force, you just have to cheer for them because you know that in their heart, they aren't going to the NFL. They right. aren't taking this another level. They're just playing for pure love of the game.